Hi folks, this is a quick summary for the UVM's proxy object-oriented design pattern and how it's used and how you can use it yourself. We'll walk through a code and system dialogue. We have another video which walks through the whole code live and analyzes line by line. Here we'll try to go through the high-level items. First, let's understand the inheritance structure for this. We have an object class. Then that object class has a function called print, returns void. It, it's extended twice, objd1 and objd2. Then we have an object proxy. It has a function called as create object and it's extended by object wrapper, which, which also finally implements the create object. And what we are going to see is that how we can override functions and their implementations, which is the normal virtual pattern. But once you think beyond, and if you can think of how do I dynamically create objects, this is where you'll enter the proxy domain. Proxy, by the Wikipedia definition, is a lightweight object stand in for the actual object. So the actual object in this case are the object trees here, shown to the first column below my video. And the lightweight stand-ins are the object wrapper instantiations. All right, let's go through this code. We see a class object. obj d1 is extending object, obj d2 is extending d1. Then we have another virtual class, object proxy. Now we're starting the other tree. It, ha it is now declaring a pure virtual function for create object. This object here and this object here, you can think of as UVM objects. And these are, let's say, UVM report phase. And then this becomes UVM sequencer. And it could also be UVM sequence item and UVM sequence. All right, now that we've done, we now get to object wrapper, which is a type parameterized class. It extends object proxy. It implements the create object. It will just new and return it. And the final proxy is just an associative array with a key of string and the value of object proxy. How do we test it? First, we create an object wrapper of type parameter d1 and then of type parameter obj d2 let's call them od1 and od2 we create handles for them here and then we also create a handle for the base virtual class of object then we knew them od1 inst od2 inst we'll apply the basic uh, properties here within the proxy to tell proxy that hey whenever I am asking you to create an object for obj d1 I want you to create for od1 for obj d so the way you would create is here so we call the proxy associative class we ask it hey what value do you have for obj d1 it says I have od1 inst with an od1 inst there is a function called as create object we call that create object and get our object now of, of class type object. And that class type object sits now in the OBH. The OBH's print function, when we call it, we should see da -da -da -da, that we are in obj d1, correct? We just overrode it here, then created, and we got the value. And we got on the value for this. Then we override it. So we say for obj d1, this point onwards, wherever it's called, I want you to create objects of od2 instead. And this is what we try out here. We do proxy obj d1. When we do a create, this time when we are printing, we do not end up printing for obj d1. We actually end up printing for objd2 and the reason is this override. So with that, you have understood now what a proxy class looks like. 
the thing to point out here is this is a fundamental understanding needed for the next session, which is going to be on factory. Factory just extends the proxy understanding and makes it extensible where the key itself is no longer going to be a string, it's going to be an object and that object can now have another value associated to it. How that all works, we'll get to it in the next video. If you have questions, comments, concerns, please share in the comment section below. This post will also be accompanied, uh, this video will also be accompanied by a blog post and the blog post will go through this code once again in a bit more detail and uh, do catch the other video if you have the time. Thank you so much.